What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel where we talk about real estate in Puerto Rico and personal finance. You already know, my name is Josh and I'm on a mission to become financially independent and this is my channel where we pretty much say it as it is. If you don't know, I am a real estate broker in Puerto Rico, so I do help a lot of people relocate to Puerto Rico and a lot of people that are maybe second or third generation that are Puerto Rican and have never lived in Puerto Rico and they want to buy property here now, which is I think which I think is awesome. And my me myself, I used to live in the States, now going back, I've had a couple of reverse culture shocks. And I just wanted, I made a list and I wanted to say little things that maybe can be impactful and beneficial for you before you move or as you're moving to Puerto Rico from the US or you're moving to Puerto Rico or relocating to Puerto Rico for whatever reason or wherever you're coming from. Type of list, nothing really serious, but if you are looking for a very detailed and nitty gritty list, comment down below, I would love to hear what you're looking for. So number one is gonna be WhatsApp, or how we say it, WhatsApp. WhatsApp, I think they should have been a campaign, I can't remember for what, but it, it, they made this a verb. And it is an app by Facebook, I believe. And it's pretty much the way we communicate. People love to send out voice messages here. They love to <laughs> send out stickers through WhatsApp. It's really a phenomenon, and I know people that have told me, basically don't take, text me or I message me to it through WhatsApp, because if not, I'm not gonna see it, or I'm just not gonna pay attention to it. So make sure you download that. You're gonna need that to connect with other people, to connect with other businesses, to really do anything here. If you are trying to get connected with the locals, that's kind of like part of, of what you gotta do when it's free, so it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really require a lot. But I will say people here are not very email friendly and they're not phone friendly when it comes to businesses. So we can add that if you're, they're gonna either answer you on WhatsApp or you're gonna have to go in person and figure out for yourself because no one's answering the phone. Go to numero dos. And this is actually quite surprising. A lot of people are in shock that we actually speak Spanish. A lot of people understand English, I think more than they speak. But if I'm talking to my family members, if I'm talking to my friends, most likely we're gonna speak Spanish. There's some areas in Puerto Rico that are more English related. I don't know what the word is. But yeah, it just it kind of just depends where you go. But if you are looking for a job, you're gonna have to learn Spanish. So just know, open that Duolingo if you wanna connect with other people, with other Puerto Ricans, you're gonna have to learn Spanish. And I would hope you wanna do that because it is you are moving to another culture, you're moving to a new place, so I would wanna think that you wanna immerse in the culture. So that is part of it. And so take out Duolingo and start five, 30 minutes a day talking and learning Spanish as much as you can. Obviously it takes years of practice, but it's better to know a couple words than to know nothing at all. My next point is to actually, um, it is the work situation. So my next point is actually gonna be the work job situation in Puerto Rico. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, you are gonna be making less money here than you are in the States. And that's something you kinda have to balance things out. I would say that kinda like the rule of thumb is that if you are making $80,000 in the States, most likely you're gonna be making $40,000 in Puerto Rico, just depends on your job, of course. Make sure that if you have a remote job, that your job actually allows you to work from Puerto Rico. We have different laws, different payroll taxes, etc. So a lot of companies are against you actually working from Puerto Rico. So just know that fact. And I would also say that if you are coming here and looking for a remote job, that's gonna be tricky. I think most people have started going back into the office and that comes with the same, I've spoken about this in other, play, in other times in my channel. Puerto Ricans are very much an in-person people. You wanna get things done, you're gonna have to hire someone to go in person and do things, or you're gonna have to show up for yourself. I remember when I came back for college, I emailed, I, I called, I don't know how many times, 
no one ever answered the college phone or emails. I didn't get answers until I actually pop in and you're like, hello, hi, I need answers. And then you're probably gonna have to wait a little bit, but then you'll get the, the answers. It's just, it is what it is, part of the culture. Another fun fact is that gas stations, you actually have to go inside the gas station to pay. You can't really get out of your car and, and the machine, you can't really use that. I mean, you'll use it to put gas on, but you can't actually pay with it. The machines usually don't work, so you have to go inside, kind of have an estimate of how much you need to uh, to, to put in to fill, fill up your gas. So I know by heart, like my car, if I had to put 20, 25, $30 usually, so I just know it by heart. I, I go in, say, hey, I want $30 on number five or whatever, and then come in and then um, and do that. It's a little fun fact. I've, I've had people that are like, how does this work? And it's like, you have to go inside. It's a fun fact. My last pointer is that if you actually go to the mall, if you actually go to a lot of places that um, have air conditioner, most likely people, it's gonna be full. People in Puerto Rico, one, love to shop. And then secondly, I think they're just trying to avoid the heat. It gets hot and then very hot. It just, there's no in between. Right now I'm actually sweating <laughs> with this long sleeve. It's like 80 something right now and it's April. So we don't really have seasons and that's something that if you might miss, but it is the reality of living in the Caribbean you go from hot to hotter unless you live on the central region where are the really big mountains and then maybe during winter you'll get a 65 here and there 60 and that's during winter at night just know that part that it is just very hot and it just changes your dynamic i personally don't like to be in the summer outside it's just, I'm, I'm sweating and I'm inside right now. So I can't even believe in August, it's going to be brutal. The heat is going to be absolutely brutal. So just prepare for that. And then, oh, my original point was that you'll just see a bunch of people at the mall. It doesn't matter the season or the time, really. Puritans love to shop. And at the same time, they're trying to avoid the heat. We have, I think it's like the most sales out of Walmart or, or Sam's. And I know we have the most sales for Walgreens out of the whole US. So you can imagine how it actually is here. If you are looking to move to Puerto Rico, if you're looking to purchase in Puerto Rico, I'm happy to offer consultations. I am also a real estate agent in Puerto Rico. So I would love to connect with you if that's a, a thing you're looking to do. My information is gonna be down below. And if you want to see other videos related to lifestyle in Puerto Rico and things you should avoid or do, feel free to comment that below. Until next one, thank you so much for joining me. I'll talk to you later.